Welcome to Key Tech. Please describe this channel if you are interested in today's video. While the United States is blocking high end chips, China has quietly made a big move in the mid range market. Although the United States is clinging to cutting edge technologies such as 5 nanometers and 3 nanometers, China is making great strides in the 28 nanometers field and has defeated international giants at bargain prices. In hot fields such as new energy vehicles, photovoltaics, and industrial robots, more and more domestic chips are used. What's more, these cheap and powerful chips are supported by the complete industrial chain and cost control of Chinese manufacturing, which is simply unstoppable. This is a comprehensive counterattack from technology to market to supply chain. At the beginning, everyone's eyes were on the high end players in the chip industry. The United States has imposed a high tech blockade, restricting China from buying advanced 5 nanometers and 3 nanometers chip equipment. On the surface, this seems like a big move strangling the neck of China's semiconductor industry. However, the United States did not expect that China would turn around and start to work on the relatively mature 28 nanometers process. Although 28 nanometers does not sound high-end, it is a key note for many industrial chips and automotive-grade chips. China's semiconductor companies seized this point and began to expand production capacity frantically. According to a survey by the Neon Kizhe Shimbun, China's cheap production capacity in this field is growing at an annual rate of 18%. According to this trend, by 2027, China's market share will account for 39% of the world. In other words, Half of the global mid-range market may have to rely on China for supply. What's more exaggerated is that in the hot industry of new energy vehicles, Chinese manufacturers have directly torn open the market with price wars. For example, IGBT chips are the heart of electric vehicles. In the past, the market for this type of chip was basically monopolized by foreign manufacturers, and the price was very expensive. But as soon as Chinese manufacturers took action, they cut the price from $1,500 to $500. Don't think that the price reduction seems to be a loss-making profit, but in fact, it is supported by China's complete manufacturing chain. What's the result? The cost-defense line of international manufacturers has been broken, and the stock price of a giant American company specializing in chips has plummeted by 42% in half a year. This price war is more ruthless than a knife. Some people may wonder if this is simply based on cheapness. Of course not. There is a whole set of routines behind China's 28 nanometer chip strategy. First of all, it is the layout of the entire industrial chain. Other countries may only do chip design or foundry, but China can handle the entire chain from polysilicon purification to packaging and is basically not controlled by others. In addition, the cost is that Chinese manufacturers dare to play a price wall because the equipment depreciation cycle is shortened by two-thirds compared with the international standard, and the cost is suppressed. There is also technological micro-innovation. Although it is not a revolutionary breakthrough, it is constantly optimizing details such as etching accuracy and yield rate. The superposition of more than 20 small links is comparable to a big move. Let's look at the equipment. ASML of the Netherlands recently delivered the 1000th DUV lithography machine to China, 
which is a big news internationally. But China's independently developed 28 nanometer lithography machine is about to be mass produced. In other words, China can rely on imported equipment to support current production and rely on its own research and development to move towards the future. This import plus self research double insurance model makes China's cheap production capacity more wider and wider. The United States has also thought about counterattacks. The U.S. Department of Commerce has long listed a bunch of tariff lists to block the export of Chinese chips. What's the result? China's cheap exports not only did not decrease, but increased by 23% after the tariff increase. This wave of operations directly slapped the United States in the face. In the field of industrial chips, the market has expressed its attitude with orders, cost performance is the real king. What's more, this victory in the mid-range market has begun to produce chain reactions in many fields. The localization rate of domestic chips used in new energy vehicles has now exceeded 85%. The cost of photovoltaic inverter chips has directly dropped by 40% due to localization. For high-end manufacturing equipment such as industrial robots, the delivery cycle of the main control chip has been shortened to two weeks. These changes have not only made domestic companies taste the sweetness, but also made foreign customers begin to realize that the competitiveness of Chinese chips can no longer be underestimated. Looking back at the whole situation, just like the counterattack of LCD panels in the past, China once again used the strategy of surrounding cities with rural areas to break through the blockade of the semiconductor industry. It's true that the United States is guarding the 3 nanometer technology throne, but China has quietly reconstructed the global semiconductor market map with 28 nanometer chips. Although this chip war seems to be a technical contest, the business logic and market competition behind it are the real main battlefield. High-end technology is important, but victory in the mid-range market is the economic foundation. China has leveraged the global market with 28 nanometer chips, a situation that no one expected. What do you think? Welcome to leave a message in the comment area to discuss.